you are predicted for English. Um, you're currently predicted to C. Yeah. Talk to me about coursework. Uh, coursework all completed and all at C and above. I've checked with Mr. Davis and checked again. Right. You need to try and get that to a B and above before before we get to the exam. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what you need to do to do that? Uh, Mr. Davis is your teacher. Yes. Yeah. I think it's just like a few uh, structural things of the coursework. Right. Like some of them are pretty big pieces. Just got to go through them and check the exam criteria. Time's pressing. You need to submit that coursework at the beginning of November. Yes, I'm going to do what I can on Monday. Right, good, 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 good. And there'll be there'll be holiday opportunities as well for that. I'm not around on the October half term. Where, where, where are you off to, sir? Paris. Oh, very nice. Okay, French. How's that going? Uh, it's going quite well. I had a full-on conversation with Miss Martin the other day. And what is she predicting you at the moment? I've got you down for a D. Uh, that's the general level at the class. Miss. We're aiming for a C now, okay, good. but predicted still possibly D. So there's worked down as a D. Who's your math teacher? Mrs. Wright. Okay. I'm struggling with maths, but I am doing Thursdays after Sound school. learning? Are you Sound doing? learning. Uh, I'm starting to use that more often now. Okay. Just finding the time, which I have started to. So you've got two weeks before the exam. It has to be a priority. Yeah. Yeah. So really, really push that. As t the staff are, are back almost every night after school mm. helping, so make use of that, please. Yeah. Um, that's good. In terms of its activities, what's it doing at the moment? At the minute, we are fo starting to focus on elections in January. Yeah. So myself and Simon are still on the cabinet until January. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it for three years You've in January. Cabinet, cabinet forever. But I'm more interested in actually the stuff that it's doing. Uh, we've helped over 80 projects this year. Go on, key ones? Key ones, uh, mostly dance and... I don't know what else. I'd I'm not on the budget select committee anymore. I was in the first year, doing, and I got to do all the sums and everything it was great. But this year, I haven't been with the budget as much. But if we're if we're um, talking to our student council here, yes, and we want to demonstrate to them the impact mm. of the youth cabinet, what what can I say has happened? Uh, you can invite me along, and I can speak to them. And what would you say has happened? I would say to them what's happened over the past three years and I'll get some information from Tom Flynn because he has all of the sheets with what's been going on. And I so can you give me some key headline, headlines of things that have happened? Yeah. Uh, key impact, key projects. You've got the... the Black Shot Skate Park is finally finished. Exactly, that's just what finally. I was going to say. It's finally finished. Because that's something our kids could access, isn't it? It's not that Everyone can access well, it. I was going to say, but it's not that far away from them. No. If someone wanted another skate park in the... It's a major project, so they just come and present to the cabinet. We'll have about an hour of discussion, and it could be a done deal. So I wanted to skate park on it. Kevin, is this a regular type of meeting that you have? Yeah, I meet with students as regularly as I can, particularly at this time, the Year 11s, who are preparing for their, their GCSE exams in June. And in November, all of our students at the, the academy are taking their maths and English early. They're all planning to take it in, or preparing to take it in November. So I'm meeting with them to really highlight where they're, they're doing well, where they need to do better, so that they can invest their time appropriately to, to help them get their, the best grades they possibly can. And also meeting somebody like Sam, you're taking a great interest in on his work without the school, is that right? Yeah, well, Sam, Sam, Sam and I meet very regularly to talk about the, the development of the Youth Cabinet, uh, and he gives me a, a, an insight into what's happening within Thurrock. Um, and it's very useful for me as, as we start to develop our relationships with the broader community to have somebody like Sam coming in and filling me in what's happening. He's just told me about the, the skate park that's being developed at Black Shots. We've had a number of conversations about that through the years, about how that's proceeding. It's really good to hear that it's finally up and running and, and, and young people can take advantage of it. Because you're clearly interested in the conversation, Heather. What are the practical benefits or outcomes of what a particular organisation like the Youth Cabinet are doing, aren't you? Well, it, for us, it's important that um, our young people have access to the benefits that the Youth Cabinet can provide. So many of the students come into this room and talk to me about, well, there's nothing to do in the evenings, nothing to do at the weekends. Uh, and if there is an organisation that can help provide those sorts of opportunities, then, yeah, we have a, we have a role to help facilitate that.